Hallelujah. Wana Yesu asifiwe. It's yet another wonderful Sunday morning that the Lord has given us and we shall be glad and rejoice in it. And it's yet another wonderful opportunity God has given us to worship Him. So from wherever you are, uh, we welcome you to worship together. Please let's be up on our feet as we worship the Lord together. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift so you lift up your hands, worship the Lord in your own words, glorify His name. He's a faithful God. He's a faithful God. He's a loving Father. He never lets us down. He's always there for us.
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have praised. Amen. Amen. Our prayer number one. Please take your seat. Our prayer number one. Father, thank you for preserving and protecting my life, family, business, career, and all my endeavors since the year began. Psalms 92 and verse number one. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. Our prayer once again, Father, thank you for preserving and protecting my life, family, business, career, and all my endeavors since the year began. Please rise up on your feet and begin to thank God for this fact that he has brought us. We are in the month of May. God has preserved our lives. Thank God. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God for preserving, for protecting our lives. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for preserving and protecting my life, my business, Father, my family, my career, and all my endeavors since the year began. Father, in the name of Jesus, this morning I give you praise, O God, that you have preserved and protected my life, my family, my business, my career, and all my endeavors since the year began. Our Father and our God, how I thank you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus that since the year began, O oh God, you have preserved my life, you have preserved my family, you have preserved my business, you have preserved my career, you have preserved all my endeavors. Father, in the name of Jesus, this morning I I give you praise. This morning, I return to give you praise. I return to honor you. I return to bless your name. That Father, O oh Lord, since the year began in the month of January, in the month of Feb, in the month of March, in the month of April, Father, now in the month of May, you have preserved my life. You have preserved my family. You have preserved my business. You have preserved my career. My, you have preserved all my endeavors. Father, in the name of Jesus, this morning, O oh God, I return to say thank you. I return to bless your name. I return to magnify your name. Father, that they call the praise. Father, that they call the honor. It is has taken your hand. Father, that it's all about you. And this morning, O oh God, I return to say thank you. Thank you for preserving my life. Father, as I went out, as I came back, you watched over us, O oh God. Father, I bless you. Father, I give you praise. You have preserved my family. You have preserved my business. You have preserved my career. I return to give you praise. I return to honor you. I return to magnify your name. Father, in the name of the Lord, take all the praise. Take all the honor. These are your doings in the name of Jesus and this morning Father I give you praise, I give you honor, begin to appreciate God raise up your voice and thank God that he has heard our cry he has heard our thanksgiving this morning Father we thank you Father we bless you, Father we honor you, thank you that Lord you have accepted Father our thanksgiving this morning in the mighty name of Jesus we give you praise, honor and glory in Jesus mighty name we have given thanks please take your seat praise the lord so we are going to have our prayer number two and it shall be as follows father in the name of jesus empower every overcomer this month for the diverse testimonies in all areas of life we are reading the word of God in the book of Acts, chapter 1 and verse 8. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Sam Samaria and to the end of the earth. Once again, our prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus, empower every overcomer this month for diverse testimonies in all areas of life. Let's stand up on our feet and continue praying for the empowerment of every overcomer in all the diverse of their lives. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, empower every overcomer this month for diverse testimonies in all areas of life. Father, in the name of Jesus, empower every overcomer this month for diverse testimonies in all areas of life. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, empower every overcomer this month for diverse testimonies in all the areas of their lives. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, empower every overcomer this month for the diverse testimonies in all areas of their lives. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, empower every overcomer this month for diverse testimonies in all areas of their life. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we speak empowerment, our Father, upon every member of this church, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus this month, we declare every overcomer shall be empowered. We declare every overcomer, my Father, shall receive the Holy Spirit, my Father. This month, we declare everlasting God that that every overcomer shall receive a new fresh oil of empowerment in Jesus' mighty name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, empower every overcomer this month for diverse testimonies in all areas of their lives. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, empower every overcomer this month for diverse testimonies in all areas of their lives. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, empower every overcomer this month for diverse testimonies, Lord, in all areas of their lives. Father, in Jesus' mighty name. We declare that every overcomer shall receive new power. We declare, my Father, Lord, every overcomer, my Father, and all those connected to this mountain shall receive new power this month in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare revival power, Lord, over every overcomer this month. We declare, my Father, the Holy Spirit shall empower all the overcomers, family, Lord, in all areas of their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of the Lord, we declare supernatural empowerment upon every overcomer in all areas of their lives, in their businesses, our Father, in their careers, oh God, upon the work of their hands, we declare, my Father, supernatural empowerment upon every overcomer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of the Lord, empower every overcomer this month for diverse testimonies in all areas of their lives. We declare no one shall be weak this month. We declare no one shall fall, my Father, by the reason of lack of power. We declare revival fire, my Father, upon every member of this church. We declare divine empowerment upon every overcomer in all areas of their lives, in their businesses, in their careers, upon the work of their hands. We declare spiritual empowerment upon every member of this church. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare no one shall be a weakling. We declare no one shall fall. We declare no one shall turn back. We declare the power of the Holy Spirit shall be upon every overcomer this month in all areas of their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us appreciate the Lord for releasing a fresh power upon every overcomer this month. Father, we thank you, King of glory, for empowering every overcomer, my Father, this month in all areas of their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. I want to welcome the praise and worship to take us further.
Let's celebrate the Lord. Let's magnify the Lord. He's worthy of our praises. He's worthy of our honor and adoration in the name above every name. God bless you. Uh, good to see you once again in our first Sunday service uh, of the month of May as we are in the presence of the Lord. Lift up your beautiful hands. Thank God that you have appeared upon the mountain of the Lord. We are now in the mountain of the Lord. Tell the Lord thank you for allowing you to see the new month of May in the name of the Lord. There are many who began uh, the month of April. They were not able to see uh, the month of May. But we celebrate the Lord. We magnify the Lord for allowing us to see the month of uh, May. Father, we give you the praise. What a great privilege, what a great honor to allow me, Lord, to see the month of May. I give you the praise. I give you the honor. I give you all the adoration. I magnify your name. I decree and declare that you alone is the doer. Receive all the praise. Receive all the honor for the great and mighty privilege that you've given me, Lord, to see this new month of May. I give you all the praise. I give you all the honor and adoration. You alone is the doer. Receive all the praise. Receive all the honor. Honor, take all the adoration, celebrate the Lord, celebrate the Lord, magnify Jesus. We celebrate you, O God, and it's in Jesus' precious holy name. Heavenly Father, we give us thanks. Amen and amen. Let's celebrate the Lord with a mighty hand clap of praise for the great privilege he has given us to see uh, this new month and especially to see the first Sunday of this month. We bless the Lord and I decree upon your life the same God who has brought you to the month of May. He will preserve you to the end of this month in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree throughout this month of May, no evil shall befall you in the mighty name of the Lord. Throughout this month of May, you will not faint, you will not fall, you will not give up, you will not be frustrated. Disappointment will be turned to appointment over your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that throughout the month of May, the good hand of the Lord shall rest upon your life in the name of Jesus. The God of this altar shall preserve your life in the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, I have declared. Let's celebrate the Lord once again as we are in his presence in the mighty name of the Lord. God bless you. Please have your seat in the presence of the Lord. Amen and amen. Praise be to the name of Jesus. Uh, we want to thank God uh, for giving us another chance. Uh, to see a new month, the fifth month of our year of double portion uh, of blessings. And I want to believe that you will see the last month of this year in the mighty name of Jesus. As we are in the presence of the Lord, I want to welcome all of you overcomers, wherever you are, and also all our viewers from wherever you are, are watching from, the Lord bless you for allowing us uh, to have access to your homes, uh, to the hospitals, wherever you are. And I want to believe that uh, the Lord again will give us a wonderful month uh, in the month of May. I thank God for all of you that have been uh, going through with us in the online uh, throughout the month of uh, April, all our partners all the members of this assembly, may the Lord bless you for being committed to the word of God, to prayer and fasting. Uh, I want to believe that this again will be a new month, the month that the Lord shall bless us. This is uh, our month of divine empowerment. And I want to believe that the Lord shall empower uh, every one of us spiritually. We shall enter into a new level a new dimension of power weakness being weakly spiritually will not be your portion the lord will send revival over every one of us the lord shall revive us afresh in the name of the lord soon 
uh, it will be communicated to you when our spiritual emphasis, three days of spiritual emphasis, uh, we will start. And I want to believe uh, we shall be together in the same. Right now, I want us to go into the word of the Lord. Remember, as I've said, this is uh, uh, our month of power. And when we talk about power, power is the ability to get things done. The ability to get things done. So when you are empowered, you are given ability to get things done. That means when you are empowered, when others are not able to do things, you will be able to do them. You are distinguished by divine empowerment. And so I'll be sharing the word of God on what I've captioned uh, the release of power. Because throughout this month, the Lord will be releasing his power upon our lives, upon our spiritual lives. And I'm believing God that wherever you are, the power of God will hit your spiritual life. And uh, no matter where you are, you must get to a new level of empowerment in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of uh, Psalm 66 and verse 3, uh, Psalm 66 and verse 3, the word of God uh, declares, uh, say to God, how awesome are your works through the greatness of your power, your enemies shall submit themselves to you. Look at what the Bible says. That through the greatness of the power of God, all the enemies shall submit themselves to you. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to say this as we continue. That the end time charge is a charge of power. We are getting to a level whereby because uh, the days that the word of God talks about, the end time days are the days that we are living in right now. And the Bible talks about the end time charge that it will be a charge of power that wherever you are, you shall be operating full of power. The ability to get things done will be your portion. And as we continue, we shall read and understand that you will get to a level whereby giving up will not be your portion. Even when you are, situ you are in a situation whereby you are supposed to give up, whereby you are supposed to let it go, you will find that power, the ability to get things done. It will keep you up. Even when you are going through the wilderness, when you are going through challenges, this power of the Most High God shall keep you standing. Why? Because it is in the Word of God that the end time charge is a charge of power. And I'm glad to let you know, uh, my viewer, that you are part of that church. You are part of that church of power. Praise the name of the Lord. The end time church, it is a ruling church and a reigning church. This is a church that you rule. It is a church that you reign over every situation, over every circumstance. This is a church that will be ruling, that will be reigning in every situation. Uh, my friend, uh, you have never seen the kind of power that is about to be displayed in the church. I know that the whole world is going through uh, this plague and uh, 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 this challenge of coronavirus. But hear me, I'm talking about the aftermath of, of coronavirus. The church will reign. The church will rule. And I decree you will be part of the reigning church. You will be part of the ruling church. Why? Because, hear me clearly, there will be demonstration of power everywhere. Everywhere. 
God's people shall be full of power. And I want to declare right now, in this impartation, may the Lord begin to empower you for the same in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, the Bible says, the enemies of God will be brought under his footstool. And until this is done, get me clearly, Christ will not come. The Bible says, through the greatness of your power, your enemies shall submit themselves to you. In other words, God will demonstrate his power in such a way that even the enemies of God, those who say that there is no God, they will see the greatness of God's power and they will be under that power. The, the Bible says, the enemies shall submit themselves to you. Praise the name of the Lord. The word of God says, through the greatness of your power, not your teachings, not even your sermons, not our religious obligation. No. The Bible says, through the greatness of the power of God, even the enemies shall go ahead and submit. And I want to declare here and now, all the enemies of God, by the power of the Most High God, they shall submit in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of the Lord tells us, and we will see it clearly, that Christianity without power is a frustrated religion. Christianity without power is a frustrated religion. Why? Because if you live as a man, as a woman who is just born again and you are powerless, anytime the enemy <clears throat> wants you to cry, wants you to weep, wants you to go down, he will use all ways and methods to make you go down. But when you are full of power, you become unpenetratable by the enemy. The enemy cannot destroy your marriage. He cannot destroy your life. He cannot destroy your business, your career. Because you are full of power, you are ruling, you are reigning. And I decree over your life that will become your portion this month and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, no matter how religious you are, as we Read in the book of Exodus, Pharaoh will <clears throat> not let you go without demonstration of God's power. So I thank God for your grammar, thank God for your education, thank God for your money, but it will not make any difference this time. Your money, your grammar, and even your education will not make a difference this time. What will make a difference for Pharaoh to let you go? It is the demonstration of power. So I want you to hear me right now. This month, go for empowerment. Go for divine empowerment. Refuse to allow yourself walking weekly. Don't celebrate that life. And as I always say, if you don't pay the price now, hear me well. You shall pay it later. You better pay now and celebrate later than you celebrate now and pay later. I decree upon your life spiritual laziness, spiritual laxity will not be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4, uh, chapter 2, sorry, and verse 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 4. These are the words that were spoken by Paul. Paul, he's saying what? And my speech, speaking to the Corinthians, he's telling them, and my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power. Paul is writing to the Corinthians and he's telling them, when I was preaching to you, 
I was not using persuasive words of human wisdom. I went beyond there. I went to demonstration of the spirit and of power. Hear me, dear ones. Whether you can say, I'm not a pastor. I don't need power. I don't need the anointing. But hear me clearly. For you to make it as a business person, for you to make it in your career, for you to make it in your talent, this time, what you need is demonstration of power. And so I declare to you once again, may the Lord empower you in the mighty name of Jesus. It is impossible to triumph without power. Get me clearly. It is impossible for you to triumph in the world that we are living in today without power. The word triumph means a walkover. It is impossible for you to walk over in some situations without divine empowerment. That word triumph is where your opponents becomes afraid to even enter to the ring with you. You are opposers. They feel that they are afraid to come and attack you. I declare in the name of Jesus, this month of May and beyond, by the reason of the empowerment that is coming your way, sicknesses will be afraid to attack you. Witches will be afraid to attack you. Demonic forces will be afraid to attack you. I don't care the economical, uh, the, how the economy is going down. Hear me, by the power of the Most High God, your own life shall not go down in the name of Jesus. Somebody who believes it, shout a big amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And so, what am I saying? We must refuse to become a just a theoretical church. A church, remember, all this time, we have been meeting in church. Every time you have been empowered, every time there have been programs during the midweek, all this time, can you imagine, just one month at home can make you weekly. It is because you have been in a theoretical church. We must refuse to be in a theoretical church. We must enter and join the church of power. The church that is full of power. The enemy thought that the church will not continue. But let me tell you, the Bible says, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there. That is church. So wherever you are, you can have church at home. You can have church in your workplace. You can have church wherever you are. Just make sure that you are empowered. Refuse to be weakly when others are going down spiritually. Refuse to go down. And I decree upon your life that you will not go down in the mighty name of Jesus. Refuse that theoretical church. But join this church that will be dominating the church that will be ruling, the church that will be reigning in the fullness of the power of the Lord. I decree among the ones that will reign, rule, among the ones that will demonstrate the power of God, you will be among them in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, I want us to see and to hear what Joel says concerning the church that I'm talking about, the church of the end time, the church that we said that the end time church is a church of power. I want that to see, hear what Joel says concerning you and concerning me, we that you will be the church of the end time. The Bible says in Joel 2, verse 1, up to verse 3, the world should get ready for a great people. And I want to declare 
You are among the great people the world will get prepared for in the name of Jesus. The world should be ready for a great people to emerge. According to what Joel is saying in the word of the Lord, the kind that has not been seen before, a great army that will spread upon the mountain and take charge. They shall be glorious and distinguished. Let's read verse 1 up to verse 3. The Bible says, Blow the trumpet in Zion and sound an aram in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming, for it is at hand. Get that, for the day of the Lord is coming, and it is at hand. These are the days. The day of the Lord are the days that we are living in right now. Verse 2, the Bible says, A day <clears throat> of darkness and gloominess, that will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. A day of clouds and thick darkness, that will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Like the morning clouds spread over the mountains. A people, hallelujah, there is a people that will come when others will be going through darkness, through gloominess, through clouds, through thick darkness. The Bible says, there is a people, and hear me, you are among that army in the name of Jesus. A people come. These are the days of those people. A people come great and strong that no matter the famine, no matter the plague, they will be great and they will be strong. I decree upon your life. This month you will be great and you will be strong in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, look at this army, the like of whom has never been. Hallelujah. The like of whom has never been, nor will there ever be any such after them, even for many successive generations. Let's go ahead in verse 3. The Bible says what? A fire devours before them and behind them a flame burns. The land is like the garden of Eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness. Surely nothing shall escape them. Praise the name of the Lord. That is the word of the Lord concerning your life according to the days. The last day's church is a church of power. That is what God is expecting you to do. As for you, confusion will not be your portion. Saying that I'm in dilemma, that will not be your portion. It will be a church that will demonstrate great power. And in verse 4, the Bible says, They shall be a gloriously a distinguished. And I decree upon your life, may you be distinguished in the name of Jesus. Their appearance is like the appearance of horses and like swift steeds. So they run. Verse 5, the Bible says, With a noise like chariots over mountain tops, they leap like the noise of a flaming fire that devours the stubble, like a strong people set in battle array. Hallelujah. I want to declare over your life, every enemy of your life shall suffer devastation in the presence of the Lord. Wherever you appear, I want to declare, fire will devour all your enemies in the name of Jesus. And if you read verse 7 and verse, verse 6 and verse 7, the Bible says, They shall march everyone on his way before them. The people read in pain. All faces are drained of color. Verse 7, they run 
like mighty men. Hear the word of the Lord. From here you shall run like mighty men in the name of Jesus. They climb the wall like men of war. That is you in the name of the Lord. Everyone marches in formation and they do not break ranks. They were not fighting with each other. No, everyone will be in their ranks. And look at what the Bible says. It is time to stop thinking low of yourself. You are in the end time army. Stop thinking small mind concerning your life, concerning your family. Begin to enlarge your thinking. Think to yourself that I am a man, that great army. In the book of Joel, chapter 2, and verse 8 and verse 9, look at what the Bible says. I thank God for this one. They do not push one another. Everyone marches in his own column. Though they rush between the weapons, they are not cut down. There is something that I want to say there. They are not cut down. Though they rage between the weapons, they are not cut down. That means what? No matter where you pass through, the Bible says you will not be hurt. Today we are told you enter Matatu, you touch uh, an iron, wherever you go, there is coronavirus. But the Bible says, in the days we are living in, those end time, the days we are living in, you will be full of power that no matter where you enter, whether there are weapons that are hurting others, they will not cut you down. I decree upon your life, you will not be hurt in the name of Jesus. I decree upon your family, upon your career, you will not be hurt in the name of Jesus. Your business will not be hurt. Your career will not be hurt. If you believe it, shout, I believe in amen. So from this hour, no more injuries over your life. No more injuries over your family. No more injuries over your body. No more injuries over your career. You believe a shout a big man. Because you are in this end time army of great power. Can somebody say, I am in this end time army of great power. Power. So I receive great power now. In the name of Jesus. And look at what the Bible says in verse 21. Joel chapter 2 verse 21. The Bible says hallelujah. Fear not. Fear not. Soon I will talk about power of a sphere. Fear not. All overcomers. Fear not. Oh, people of God, be glad and rejoice for the Lord will do marvelous things. I want to declare over your life this month, the Lord will do marvelous things over your life in the name of Jesus. May the Lord do marvelous things over your family. May the Lord do marvelous things over everything about you in the name of Jesus. So it is time to walk into your liberty. It is time to get into your canon. Your land flowing with milk and honey is awaiting for you. Get set for freedom from every form of captivity through power. So by the reason of the power of the Lord, your future will shine more and more brighter. Hear me clearly. Your future is not certain. Without his power, without the power of the Lord, your future is not certain. Now, I want to give an example before I conclude, uh, showing you that the fire of God, the power of God from the altar can stop the plague. The power of God from the altar can stop every plague. We are reading the word of the Lord. 
And as we read this word in the book of Numbers, chapter 16, I want to ask you, do you have enough of the fire of God to stop that plague, to stop that challenge in your life? Do you have enough of the fire of God that that altar of your home, that altar of your family, that altar of your business, that altar of your church, can that altar be able to have enough power to stop the plague that the devil is sending into our lives and our church? Do you have enough fire? I declare upon your life, fire will be upon your altar in the name of Jesus. Now, the Bible says, there is a story in the book of Numbers chapter 16 that illustrates how powerful the fire of God really is. And I want us to see what the Bible says. There were 250 Israelite leaders who had offered incense to the Lord which only the priests were allowed to do it. But they decided, because they are the leaders of the children of Israel, there were 250 of them, that they should go ahead and uh, uh, make these uh, uh, sacrifice and offering. And the Bible says they were not allowed to do it. As a result, all the 250 leaders had fallen dead. You can imagine. At once, all of them died. The rest of the people were in such a fear. They were in such terrible situations. And the Bible says about the situation that was happening, they cried out to Moses and Aaron saying, you have killed the Lord's people. Number 16 and verse 41. Number 16 and verse 41. Now, because they saw their leaders, 250 of them, they died. Why? Because they offered incense that they were not supposed to offer. It was supposed to be done by the priest. So when they died, the Bible says, on the next day, all the congregation of the children of Israel complained against Moses and Aaron, saying, you have killed the people of the Lord. They looked at it because there was a plague that had come down. Killing, 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 killing. But hear the word of the Lord. How did this plague stop? I want us to see verse 46 up to verse uh, 40, uh, 48. What does the Bible say? That suddenly uh, a plague broke out. And Moses told Aaron, take your censer and put incense in it. And the Bible says, after he did that, along with fire from the altar. So Moses, verse 46, said to Aaron, take a censer and put fire in it from the altar. Put incense on it and take it quickly to the congregation. And make atonement for them. For wrath has gone out from the Lord. The plague has begun. So plagues did not start with coronavirus. Plagues began even in the Old Testament. You can see, the Bible says, a plague has begun. How did this plague stop? I want to let you know, my dear ones, even coronavirus will stop in the name of Jesus. So Moses, verse, okay, verse 47, the Bible says, Then Aaron took it as Moses commanded. I thank God for people who obey the servants of God and ran into the midst of the assembly. And already the plague had begun among the people. So he put in the incense and made atonement for the people. Verse 48. And he stood between the dead and the living. So the plague was stopped.
stopped. Somebody shout a big amen. The Bible says he took his, uh, he took uh, the censer, put incense in it along with fire from the altar. That's what I want to emphasize. Fire from the altar. He took all those things, but he put again along with fire from the altar. What am I saying? Make sure that your altar is full of fire. Make sure that your altar is full of power. That is the way to stop the plague from attacking you. That is the way to stop the plague from attacking you. And I declare power, fire to stop the plague. Receive it in the name of Jesus. And so the Bible says, after he had done all those things, and then along with fire from the altar, he hurried to the assembly to make atonement for them. And what does the Bible say? And so the plague was stopped. What can we see? We can see a plague that was stopped by fire from the altar. I want to declare coronavirus will be stopped by the fire from the altar. I'm here to challenge every one of us. Kindly rise up and begin to pray. Kindly rise up. Be full of fire. It is time for the body of Christ to be full of fire, to be full of power. When you feel like you are going down, recharge yourself in the spirit. Empower yourself spiritually. Don't allow the power of God to go down from your life. Because we have read the word of the Lord. The way that the plague was stopped is by the fire from the altar. After they did all what they were doing, then they went for fire from the altar. No wonder I can tell you the truth. Since when churches were closed, I've never missed coming to this altar. Why? Because I know it is the work of the priest to stand on the altar. I've never stopped coming for morning devotion. And I said, unless there will be a total lockdown, I will always appear upon the altar. Because I know the answer to our generation, it is not on all those things we are looking for. The answer to our generation today, it is on the fire on the altar. What am I saying? Pray for your church. Pray for the altar of your church. After Corona, hear me well. Many people will run to church. They need to find an altar that is full of fire. So that when they gather there, men and women who refuse God before Corona, and when there was no Corona, they will come to church cold, feeling cold. And once they get to the fire on the altar, every plague, every depression, every oppression will stop in the name of Jesus. I'm standing on the altar right now, an altar that is full of fire. And I decree upon this altar that plague, that problem, that challenge over your life, over your family, over your business, over your career. Stop now in the name of Jesus. And I decree over your life, from here, a new chapter of greatness is coming your way in the name of the Lord. Somebody shout a big amen. So I want to believe God. We shall walk in the power of the almighty God. If we want to have the fire of God in our churches, in our personal life, to stop the plague of problems that the devil is sending on the earth today. We must be hungry for the Lord. We must be hungry for the word of God. We must be hungry for the power of God. I pray for every one of us as I wind up. Go for power. 
Wake up early in the morning. Pray to God for empowerment. Don't just pray for money. You can have money. And money will be stopped by plagues. But once you are empowered, you are the one to stop the plague. Hallelujah. We will stop every plague that will come our way in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you. And I pray for you right now. May the Lord empower your life. May the Lord give you grace to move on. No matter the challenges you are going through, power is your portion. The Lord shall empower your flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all my viewers, wherever they are, almighty God, empower them afresh. Let them be among the end time church that will be full of power. I pray in the name of the Lord, as we have heard from the word of God, the people that are coming forth in Joel chapter 2, these, my viewers, will be part of them in the name of Jesus. We thank you, we honor you. Let this be a month of empowerment. In Jesus' name, Father, we give thanks. Amen and amen. Maybe you are there, you are not born again, and you want to say yes to Jesus. By the one that has come away, you want to be part of the people that will be among this army that will run and not go down, that will not go through injuries. I want you to make this prayer after me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you right now. Forgive my sins. Make me whole again. Write my names in the book of life. Give me grace to live a holy life. And it's in Jesus' name I declare, amen and amen. The Lord bless you. If you have received Jesus Christ as your personal savior, or you have a need, you need prayer, you can call uh, or send an SMS through that uh, prayer line that is under your screen, and we shall be praying for you, and we shall direct you to where our church is. May the Lord bless you, and may the Lord do you good. It's time to give. Time to give is always a blessing time. Package your tithe, package your offerings, uh, package uh, your thanksgiving seed, whatever you want to give to the Lord for what the Lord has done over your life. Package it well in the name of the Lord. The Bible says, give and it shall be given to you full measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. I want to speak a word of a blessing upon your life as you give. Give us, never go through poverty. Give us covenant people. They will never know torment of lack and want. Covenant people will always shine when others are saying there is a casting down. You are among them and I declare you will rise in prosperity in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we come in your presence this hour, almighty God. As we commit all the givers in your able hands, our giving is blessed. I pray for the businesses, for the careers of your people. Bless them, preserve them in the name of the Lord. Let them enjoy divine acceleration, divine empowerment. Preserve the careers of your people during this plague and famine and drought. Your people shall rise. Your people shall be distinguished. They will be among the army that will not be cut down, that will not go through injuries financially in the name of the Lord. Our giving is blessed in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. May the Lord bless your giving and may the Lord do you good. You can give to the number that is appearing uh, 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 under your screen and the Lord shall bless you. Just to remind us again that... Uh, we are in our new month of May, our month of divine empowerment. Let's go for power. Go for power. How do you get power? You get power by prayer, by fasting. Recharge your spirit. Examine yourself. If at all you feel your spirit is weak, go for power and the Lord will bless you. Let's meet uh, on Friday 
in our midweek service, online midweek service, and uh, we shall be blessed of the Lord. To all the overcomers, let's continue with the morning devotion. Wake up early in the morning, recharge your spirit, empower your spirit, and it shall be well with you. I request that if you see needy people around your area, God has blessed you. Share with them, give them bread, give them a smile, and the Lord will see to it, if you give to the needy, you will never be needy. And in case you find someone who is a member of this assembly going through challenges, uh, kindly you can talk to our fellowship leaders and they will be able to contact uh, to us and we shall be blessed together. No overcomer is permitted to live in this time without food. God bless you and may the Lord do you good. Amen and amen. You are blessed. Welcome to Overcomers Chapel International. We are located in Kikuyu Town. Our services are held every Sunday at 10 a.m. and every Friday at 6 p.m. Come and be a part of our glorious family. Overcomers Chapel International, the mountain of hope and healing.